Hey everyone, today I am thrilled to introduce you to a new OBS plugin I've developed, Polyglot. If you ever wanted to connect with your global audience in their native language, this is for you. Polyglot is designed to break down language barriers when you're streaming and recording. At its core, it leverages the powerful C Translate 2 engine from OpenNMT to deliver real-time translations. You don't need any GPU requirement or any cloud service dependency. It is completely free. It runs on your own computer entirely inside OBS. So let's see how it works. Downloading and installing Polyglot is straightforward. Head over to the GitHub repo and download the plugin installer for your operating system. We have one for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Just run the installer. A heads up for Windows users, your virus protection might flag the installer, but it's a false alarm. I assure you that it's completely safe. Once you installed Polyglot, you'll notice a new dock on your OBS interface. Polyglot will open an internal lightweight HTTP server to allow you to translate on the fly. This dock allows you to control the server. You can start and stop the HTTP server. There's a button to toggle and set up some settings for the server. Click this to choose a translation model from your disk, as well as a sentence piece model that you would need, and design the port for the HTTP server. Click the start stop button on the dock to run the internal server. If there's any issue with your model file, an error will pop up. You're probably wondering where to get the model files. I've provided all the necessary links on the GitHub repo. I recommend using NLLB, No Language Left Behind, model that can translate over 200 languages but still small and fast. There are, however, other download options for models as well as conversions. To use the translation feature, you'll need to use the OBS URL API source plugin. I've put the links in the video notes below. Using this plugin, you can send a request to Polyglot's internal HTTP server to get the translation. So in this case, I would set up my URL API source to HTTP 127.001.18.080 slash translate. This is where Polyglot will open its HTTP endpoint. I would use the post method and I would use a body JSON that has text with the text I want to translate, source lang that I've set to English Latin, and target lang, which I've set to Spanish Latin. All the language codes are available on the GitHub readme. I would select a dynamic input from another text source so I can translate things on the fly. Click skip empty and skip same to prevent it from translation unnecessary things. And then I can add this double curly input into my JSON template here to translate from that text source. For testing, you can use content type text and that's actually going to be sufficient because Polyglot will return clear text that you can immediately embed into your scene. So let's save that. And Polyglot starts providing translations for us. This is the incoming text and this is the Polyglot translation. So let's try changing the text. translation has changed. Let's try a different language. This time, let's go for Italian. You can also use the OBS local vocal transcription plugin for live translation of your captions. So that's a brief walkthrough of Polyglot. I'm always working on it. And soon we're looking at integrating direct on the fly translation for OBS text sources. So stay tuned for more updates. If this was helpful, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Your support keeps me motivated to develop more tools like this. And if you'd like to support my work even further, the link is in the show notes. Until next time, happy streaming.